Still to come on Neighborhood Journal, we're going to take you to a museum within a museum that shows us an interactive display of the instrument that rocked the world. It's the perfect marriage of the physics of distance and amplitude. You throw in a little human emotion and some creativity in this device here, and you can rock the world. Until now, there has never been a museum in the history of the world dedicated to the guitar. So the first guitar recorded in America was in 1594. I mean, that's not too long after Columbus showed up. There are more guitars sold in the United States than all other instruments combined. There are three million brand new guitars sold every year in the United States, plus the nearly two million more on the used antique and vintage markets. There's been no museum for it up until now. I mean, there's teacup museums, there's barbed wire museums. It seems like the world's most popular instrument should have its own museum. Instead of just putting it in some city where it might end up that nobody wants to go to, Cleveland. The idea was to tour the artifacts around the country in roughly 15 cities in the efforts to find a permanent home. And the Discovery Museum in Bridgeport CT made for a great world premiere. It's like having a jewel in our midst uh, that people can come out and see something that other people in other parts of the uh, world cannot see right now. So I think it's a marvelous opportunity to come out and educate oneself about this vast array of guitars. The goal of the National Guitar Museum is to contain the evolution of the guitar and to bring it to the public in a form that is not only visually stimulating, but educational and interactive. You could spin this and then when you pluck it, you actually see the different vibrations, the waveforms in each of the strings as you're looking through. So you can see that there's more going on with the string than simply one back and forth. You're actually creating sound waves and different frequencies. Our president said uh, science is back and what greater way to get kids interested in science is to hear it, touch it, feel it, make it, uh, and listen to it. You have to understand the physics and the science of it or at least intuitively understand it in order to make good music. It's all about how much tension is going on, how thick the string is. The type of wood. Exactly. You get a different sound. Spruce. It's kind of bright. Completely Maple. Different. But then you get plywood. There's a prehistoric guitar over, uh, over there. There are guitars and stringed instruments from all different cultures since Babylonian times. In the Nayatiti, which is still played in Africa today, uh, primarily in Kenya and Tanzania. Do they know about the electric guitar? They do, oh, okay. but they don't, they, <laughs> they still use this. The reason the guitar became so important to pop culture, especially in blues and folk, is that it was one of the only instruments you could pick up, carry with you, and sing and play at the same time. You can't sing with a flute, and you can't carry a piano. And the purpose of this one-of-a-kind museum is to understand the history, cultural impact, and science behind the guitar. Can't beat that sound. Are you a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll? I'm almost all rock and roll except for Johnny Cash. There's just something about, you know, love is a burning thing, you know. <laughs> Are you musically inclined at all? I have a desire. <laughs> Not the ability, but a desire. It makes a fiery ring. I just love that song. And whether it's the history of guitar that interests you or those who make history with the guitar, it's one of the, oh. the word on the street is get to the Discovery Science Museum for this one-of-a-kind experience before it's too late. It's really progressive education. It's, uh, I believe, the first of its kind in the country. And I think it's wonderful uh, opportunity for children, parents, and teachers. If you could play an instrument, what would it be? Oh, guitar. Very nicely done. <laughs>